Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back, dear listeners, to the 19th episode of Unveiling Human Treachery and Oppression from Ahlabayat al-Islam to today. Today, we journey back in time to the era of the Ahlabayat al-Islam, the household of the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, to understand the society and power dynamics that prevailed during that time. The society during the time of Ahlabayat was one marked by tribal affiliations and power struggles. Power was concentrated in the hands of a few and these individuals wielded their influence to maintain their status and control. Allah mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah verse 204 And of the people is he whose speech pleases you in worldly life. And he calls Allah to witness as to what is in his heart. Yet he is the fiercest of opponents. The Ahlul Bayt were not any ordinary figure of the time. They were divinely appointed, their succession announced by the Prophet on multiple occasions. Many, many occasions their succession, their divine status, their responsibilities were mentioned by the Prophet to the Muslims. One of the most notable of these announcements was the Sermon of Qadir where the Prophet declared, For whoever I am his leader, Mawla, Ali is his leader, Mawla. Man kunto Mawla fahaza Ali un Mawla. Despite this clear declaration, they faced treachery and persecution from those threatened by their spiritual and moral authority. In that society, power was absolute. Absolute power was when a single person. There was no division of power, ruling, execution, judgment, rule making, military, all aspects of the government and legislature were concentrated in one hand. That is the hand of the Khalifa. Anyone who threatened this absolute power was seen as a real risk a threat that needed to be silenced and that was worse for the Ahlubayt because they were the truly divinely appointed leaders so they were the biggest threat against the caliphs, the Khalifa. Fast forward to today and we see similar power dynamics at play in many different countries albeit at a much different scale much smaller scale for example in Pakistan despite the presence of media social media and division of power between the three pillars of democracy and the so-called democracy we see persecution Imran Khan despite his efforts to lead with integrity and challenge corruption has been met with opposition and treachery from those who wish to maintain their power especially the military elite if such persecution can happen in the modern day just think about this one can only imagine the extent of the atrocities and the persecution and the forcefulness that would have occurred in the past this raises a crucial question why do Muslims not mention what happened to Ahlubayt why do Muslims not even know what has happened to them it is big is it because the history was changed Was the narrative altered by those in power? And we will delve into this concept in our upcoming episodes. If we really understand this concept, we will be able to answer and understand several aspects of history and reality. For example, do we commonly accept the truth today? Is it really the truth? If the history was changed, who was the culprit who changed the history and why? In reality, in reality, in the real history, what was the role of the Muslim rulers and companions who were revered today? Against whom the history was changed? Who was the real oppressed? Who were the real oppressors? If we and our ancestors know the history in one way, and it is because it has been taught in that way for ages, Are we really respecting the wrong people because we never had the guts to do the research? Worse than that, 
have Muslims respected those who were the real oppressors, the conspirators, the treacherous individuals who betrayed the household of the Prophet, the household which was divinely appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What is the punishment of those who betrayed the household of the Prophet and incited the treachery against the Prophet's household? And then what is the punishment of those who keep quiet on this historical injustice? And this applies to our life. What will be the consequences for us if we do not act? Join us as we continue to unveil the treachery and oppression that has been hidden in the pages of history. This is unveiling human treachery and oppression from Ahl-e-Bayt to today.